What if Cold War Zombies had Shadows of Evil as a map? Luckily, there is a Cold War Zombies mod for BO3, so let's go ahead, hop in, and see what Shadows of Evil would be like with Cold War elements in it. All right, here we are on Shadows. Now, let's see what kind of weapons are roaming around over here. We got the Diamati in the spawn room. Is there any others? Oh, and the DMR, okay. But we recently did this with Origin, so I figured that we try another classic Zombies map, one of the, the better Zombies maps out there, and see what it'd be like to have Shadows of Evil in Cold War. So in this mod, on top of having some Cold War weapons, Weapons replaced all the BO3 ones is that we get some Cold War perks or Cold War esque perks. There is Elemental Pop and there's a few other custom perks in here. So it should be interesting to see how this map plays with all the Cold War stuff in it. Let's open this up. Let me clear out a few of these zombies. And then I'm gonna have the cleanest beast run you guys have ever seen for this first room. There we go. All right. Check this out. Jump on the truck. Jump to the railing. Oh no, I messed it up. Okay. Jump to the truck. Jump to the railing a little better. Shock the stairs on, come over here, shock the perk on, slap the door open, give me that. We'll shock this as well. Come on over here, and we got speed cola on, our stamina up. Perfect. Got everything done. Give me the summoning key. I'll also take the ballpoint pen. And in this mode, we don't have gobble gums. We have ammo over here. So instead of trying to get alchemical and teeth assist, we can just go ahead and straight up buy the ammo. Oh no. I mean, just straight up die, too. I'm an idiot. No self-revive in this one. All right, nobody saw any of that. You can take me out of Cold War, but you can't take the Cold War out of me. We're not going to go down a single time ever again. It's not going to happen. We're just going to power through this whole game. What other wall buys do they have going on out here? What took place with the shotgun? Is it the gallo? Oh, it is the gallo. So I used this in the Origins video. I'm going to try to use different weapons today and see if they're any different here. Because we already know the gallo is really strong in Cold War, and it was pretty good the last time I used it. So I need to find something different to use this time. What's up here? Another gallo wall by? Two of them? Weird. Oh, well. I guess we'll start our first ritual. Oh, shit. That was close. Scared the shit out of me. Oh, no. Please don't kill me. I'm too young to die. There we go. Perfect. Made it through. I wasn't concerned at all. Give me that gate worm. Think of a few places I'd like to shove this. Wait, what? He said, I can think of a few places I can shove this. He's putting the worm up the wrong gate. I'm going to grab quick revive just to make sure that I stay up. All right, let's try to see which way has jug. That's speed cola. Double taps over there. Looks like we have to go to the footlight district for jug. Look how vibrant the stamina up machine is here. I love the cold war perk machines. They look so good. And we have PhD down here. All right, let's head into the footlight district. What wall weapons do we have over here? The Milano, not bad. That might be all we can see for right now. But I'm completely out of ammo. I'm gonna buy the Milano. Gives we'll test this bad boy out. First, let's inspect it. Clean. I think it has the same exact inspect animation from Cold War 2. Well, that's a nice touch. All right, let's try to get all this stuff on over here. So let's warp up, turn on Jug, get the stairs going, jump over here, knock down our ritual item, break up in Cthulhu. Is there enough time to go all the way to the theater? I don't think so. Nope, I'm too slow. Yep. Shit. All right, well, we got the hairpiece, though. Jug looking nice. Got a new facelift. Very saturated, though. And these definitely have Cold War ammo, too. Look how much I have in reserve. 275? That's insane. What do we have when the ammo is completely maxed out? 480? That's kind of crazy. All right, where's our shield piece? There it is. We'll take that. All right, what is the KN94? Oh, it's the XM4. I don't know if it's going to be as strong as the KN94, though. That's kind of a tough weapon to beat. All right, let's become the beast. I'm going to go over here and open up the portal. Slap that baby open. And now let's get this door open as well. There we go. Now let's get our second ritual going. Stay away from me. Perfect. Made it through. Let's put this gate worm up our ass and keep going. Speaking of up our ass, here's some Margua. Kind of cool that in Cold War, they, they almost brought back the Margua with the abomination, like the, the pug version of a Margua. But Marguas are so much more intense. A lot cooler of a design and way scarier and harder to deal with than an abomination is. So let's get the hell out of here. And you can't come with us. Come on. Open your mouth, please. There you go. Got him. Give me that Margua heart. Let's grab Jug and make our way out of here. Actually, really quick. I want to test something. So how much is it to buy ammo for the Milano here? 1,500. How much is it to buy it from the wall buy? 700. Okay, so it is cheaper to go to the wall by. Good information to know. And I'm going to go do the waterfront district one next. I always struggle to get this one done in the higher rounds. So let me get everything on real quick. Where's the grapple? There it is. Perfect. We'll shock the stairs. Get double tap going. Slap open that. And if we come over here, we can get our ritual item. 
Perfect. And we'll get these doors open too. Why is this part of the wall glowing? Is there supposed to be a wall by here? Isn't that supposed to be like trip mines or something? Oh my, double tap looks gross. Someone farted in the double tap machine. All right, time to get this other ritual going. You gotta go beast mode real quick. Wake my ass up and slap this open. What's up, Shadow Man? Oh, see you later. Oh, we have an FFAR wall by over here. I kind of want to try that out. Give me that. Check out the inspect on it. Clean. And this is what I'm talking about with new perks. I think this is a completely custom perk here. It gives you explosive bullets dealing extra damage. So I'll grab the loose change from it for right now. And let's go ahead and do our ritual. Place down the belt. Place down the summoning key. Oh, shit. Let me out of here. Oh, the Bowie knife is still just a Bowie knife. They didn't change that at all. I thought they might make it like a melee weapon. That'd be fun. But give me this gate worm. You know what? I will grab the new perk. Give me some of that. So the perk icon doesn't show up on this one though. That's weird. I guess they didn't uh, account for Shadows of Evil perk icons. So we have three perks. At least I hope so. And I didn't just waste my money on it. But only two show up. Kind of weird. I can't remember if there is a perk limit. And if there is, does that count against it? Even if it's not showing up. All right. The only place we have left to go is the anal district. Cover up that C though. We'll head into here. I'm going to go beast mode real quick. Let me grapple on up. Speed call is online. Stairs are online. Box is broken. Door is open. New perk right there. And it is shocked open. Don't think I can get all the way up to the burlesque though. What's right here? The bullfrog. That would be a bad weapon to try out. And speed call has got cold wars machine. Very nice. None of the floating bottles in here, though, or the cans. Oh, give me that. Did I forget the last uh, shield part? I think I did. I need to go back and find that. Now, where is that part at? It's got to be in here. If I was a shield part, where would I be? Oh, I think I literally just hovered over it. There we go. Let me grab double tap. That still shows up. And let's grab speed cola. And right, where's all the ritual stuff? Give me that. Let me get this gate opened up, the rift. Now, what is this? fighter's fizz keep your own gun when down and get a kill to revive yourself to keep all perks Whoa. so that works just like cold wars quick revive but we're too broke to grab it at the moment let me buy open this door and let's make our shield real quick before the round starts there we go let me grab that what's over here m16 okay no that's a gun i need to try out the M16 is dirty in Cold War. I gotta see how it works here. Well, let's go ahead and get the burlesque open. Or the ruby rabbit. Basically the same thing. We'll shock that. Let me out of here, please. And I'll break open Cthulhu. Anything else I gotta do? I don't think so. I think I got it all done. But we gotta get this Margwa out of here. There's one head. Go ahead, open your mouth. Let me see those pearly whites. Please. There we go. That's two. Come on, one more. There it is. Oh. He kind of hurts, though. There we go. Night, night. This FFAR is nice, but the mag is so small. I have to constantly reload with this. It just eats the ammo. I think I'm going to switch this out for the, the M16. What's our other weapon? The Milano? Yeah, the Milano is fine as a secondary. All right, give me the M16 right now. Decent amount of ammo on this, and it looks like it one bursts. At least with our other perk that we got. And all, it doesn't look like there is a perk limit. Because we have five perks right now. Let's grab our Cold War Quick Revive. There we go. Ooh, very vibrant bottle. Let's go do our last ritual. All right, there we go. Starting her up. Oh, this thing's nasty. There's basically one shots to the head. We gotta get this pack punched ASAP. And there is our last gate worm. Zombie, get out of the way. And give me that. And I'm just running out of here. I'm not fighting the Margwa inside. There you go. Open that mouth. There we go. That's two of them. And that's three. This park's jingle is so loud. Let's just head through the portal, though. What's going on down here? Oh, there's Elemental Pop. They have it stored away all the way over here. Let's go ahead and turn on all these perks down here. So we'll shock that. Shock that. And get this door open. Anything else we need to do? Oh, yeah. Open up Cthulhu. And let's try to do a quick guess on this. Bam. 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 Imagine if that worked. I don't think there's anything else I need to do. Besides, I'm going ahead and starting up this ritual. And by ritual, I mean pack-a-punch. So let's put one little gate worm here. Another here. And then our last two right here. This has to be the coolest pack-a-punch sequence ever made. And let's go ahead and finish it with the Rift Stone. See you later, Shadow Man. I'm going to go ahead and pack-a-punch this M16, though. Ooh, they put a scope on it and gave it Dark Aether? That's sick. Oh, and they spawned in a Margwa, too. Oh, this thing's full auto pack a punched. What? <laughs> That's insane. This thing's dastardly. I don't think we could have picked a better weapon. It just melted that Margwa. Ooh, the scope looks crazy too. All right, 
Give me elemental. We're stacked right now. We're crazy OP. I think we should start trying to get the sword. Let's pop this open. It's ready to burst. Oh, we got one of our parts. Perfect. Now we just need a bug that would drop the exoplasm. We can get the Apothic and Servant. All right, let's call on our tram or a train, whatever you want to call it. We got to try to find all of our symbols for the sword. No wall buy in here. Oh, wait, the bootleg? It's only, it's zero? What? It's free? Should we try it? Do I need to show you my oh, no, it just showed up. Weird. All right, well, let's go find our symbols. I can never remember what side they're on, so I always just try to, like, look both ways. And I, I feel like I'm going to end up missing it. Okay, well, I know for sure there's going to be one over here on this side. And that is... So that's true. two triangles on a stick and two arrows above it. So a triangle kebab with, surrounded by arrows. We're already at the footlight district. Let's change this to the canals. Okay, I must have missed it entirely. Shit. Let's try that again. Oh, right here. So we have one arrow and a shish kebab. Now I'm just missing one of them. And our last symbol should be on this side somewhere. Oh, there it is. So it's double arrow and only one triangle on the kebab. Got it. They're all pretty similar. Oh, it dropped it. Let's go. We got the Xenomatter. Let's go ahead and go build our wonder weapon then. Let's build it over here. Oh, wait. There's a third perk. ICU. Faster health regen speed boost in low health and invincible when performing actions. I'll take that. About to perform an action right here. Let's build the Apothic and Servant. Zombie, you mind fucking off? And give me that. Sorry, Milano. This is uh, a lot better than what you can offer. And let's see if I remember all the symbols. Moment of truth. Okay. So it was this one it was this one and this one no i did it wrong shit all right let's let's try the symbols again so they're all really similar do they not show up i can only try it once around damn all right well never mind then give me stamina up give me phd and you know what give me meal kick we're gonna have to pick up another weapon at some point here damn might as well just grab widows just so i'm as op as possible okay now let's try the symbols again okay so we for sure had this one and uh shit this one and one of them only had one arrow so i'm gonna assume it's that let's go we did it perfect and give me the egg and let's start filling that bad boy up Oh, it's already filled. Let's go. That was fast. Let's start filling up this one. Getting kind of low on ammo for this. M16's real nice full auto, but I get a little ahead of myself. I be shooting a little too much. Okay, we got it filled up over here. You know what? Let's go ahead and try the XM4. Give me that. Thank you. So I still have my M16. I still have my Apoth Apothic and Servant. I just need this XM4 Pack-A-Punch now. So it looks like it. I might be able to do some work non-Pack-A-Punch. I'm going to run and get it packed. Let's toss it in there. Give me that. Ooh. This thing's looking nice. It's got a nice red dot on it, too. I think it's the Cobra site. That's, like, my favorite site. But it does not seem to have a whole lot of ammo. We just pack-a-punched it, and it's already, like, less than 200 bullets in reserve. Kind of concerning. But I'll have to do for right now. Let's get this filled up, too. There we go. And I think I have to fill it up at one more spot. It doesn't look done. Oh, yeah, I gotta do it in here. There we go. We got it all filled up. Now I gotta go exchange this for a sword. On the way, though, I need to grab my shield again. All right, I brought you an egg. In exchange for one sword, please. There we go. Clean. Now let's try to level this thing up. I don't remember if I have to get kills with the sword in these areas. Or if I have to go give it to uh, the person at my ritual spot first. So I'm the cop. That means my ritual spot is in the canal district. Or the anal district, as some might say. Just get rid of that C. Oh yeah. Accept it. We have the arch ovum. Now we can place it down here. And we have to beat two margwas now. Get the fuck out of here. Or maybe it's just one margwa. Either way, it's going to be slight work. Especially with this death machine. Go ahead, open up. There you go, bitch. Damn, this thing is loud. Holy shit. All right, well, I'm putting that away. That's hurting my ears. This does feel like a lot like Cold War, though. I'm feeling overpowered as shit. Like, now we have to wait till next round to do the, the next little artifact area. The one thing this is missing is, like, field upgrades. I mean, we have the sword. We have the Apothic and Servant, so it's nothing too crazy. Like, they, we can't... It's not like there's nothing we can't deal with out here. But if someone could figure way out, out a way to get, like, Ring of Fire, I'd be steezed. All right, let's try doing this one now. Oh, shit. Oh, by the trap. There we go. Fucked them both up. That was close. There's a third Margwa? That's not fair. Why is there three of you? You gotta leave, sir. Thank you. All right, we have two of the circles done. I think just two more to go. This one over here is gonna be tough as shit. I'm gonna be using the wonder weapon. Especially with two of these motherfuckers spawning. 
they gotta go. I hate this area so much. It's so stressful. It's, it's way too tight down here. Don't take that out of context. Or do. Okay, I ran all the way away from it when we took them both out. Now let's do our last sea bear circle. Oh shit. I almost forgot entirely about the Marg was spawning. I was kind of just standing there. That was scary. Could have died. I think we have all the the artifacts done. Or all the sea bear circles, whatever you want to call them. Let's go ahead and see if we can get our sword upgraded. There's my sword. Upgrade it right now. All you zombies need to just go ahead and hop in that. I'll accept the reborn sword. There we go. Now let me out of here. So now we basically have everything on the map done besides the civil protector. Don't really need it. But it would be cool to have like the Klaus's grandfather on here. So let's grab that. And then after that, all we really have left to do is just to grind out rounds. And see how far we can get. Uh oh. Uh oh. Not very far it seems like. We immediately went down. I still got to use my gun on the ground which is sick. I just need these zombies to leave me alone. Ooh, that was so lucky. I can't believe I got that off. A ray gun? Did I really just get the ray gun out of there? Well, shit. Oh, I don't have mule kick anymore, so I can't switch out my XM4 for it, but that was crazy lucky. All right, well, we have one zombie left. Wait, well, the game ended. What? I'm still alive. I'm still walking around. What happened? Huh? What? I did all that just for the game to end? What the hell? All right, well... I'm confused, but I'm not about to go through and reset everything up, but Shadows of Evil plays pretty good with all the Cold War stuff. I That might have been an error in the mod, or just a... I don't even know what happened. I don't know why the game just ended midway through that, but Shadows of Evil, a lot easier with the Cold War mod. The endless perk limit's pretty good. Uh, the perks that mimic some of the upgrades of the Cold War perks were great, and it was just a good time. I, I felt really, really overpowered through that, especially once we got the Wonder Weapon and the Sword with all those added upgrades. It was like I was unstoppable. You know, until I wasn't. But that was pretty fun. Uh, let me know if you want to see any other maps with the Cold War Zombies mod on it. I'd be happy to go through and do that. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So if you guys like this, you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't dislike, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. subscribe and put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. And if you want to keep up with me outside of YouTube, links to my Instagram and my Twitter are down below, as well as a link to our Discord if you want to go ahead and join that. But that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.